Hi everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the newcomers. You know, the news recently has had a few incidents of golf cart theft. And I've actually talked to a few people that are afraid when they leave their cart, especially those new ones That's right. in the villages that they'll be stolen. Well, we have heard of a guy that has a product that he says will help eliminate that. So <laughs> today we're meeting up with him right here in Brownwood and he's going to talk to us about golf carts, about golf cart theft. Mm -hmm. It should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Thanks for being with us today. Glad to be here. You know, the Village is, is said to be the largest golf cart community in the world. Mm -hmm. We have golf carts everywhere, as you can see behind us, mm -hmm. as you can see up and down the streets here. In fact, that was my first impression of the Villages when we came here for Lifestyle. Those golf carts all the way up and down Torch Lake Drive. Yes, mine too. She was blown away as it well. Was. It's beautiful. Big ones, little ones, four seaters, two seaters, even six seaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything. <laughs> and if you read Village News, which is not associated with the villages, by the way, they often have stories about golf cart theft. Mm -hmm. Correct. Well, these things are expensive. Now, a used cart, if you get a good used cart, fully equipped with lights, the umbrella you know, just set up, ready to go. It's probably going to cost you $6,000 oh, or minimum, more. Minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum. And if you buy a new one, you, you can spend up to 20000 or even more. Mm -hmm. So it, it is a very expensive thing. And when you hear that they're stolen, it causes alarm for a lot of people. Last number I heard was 70,000 golf carts here. Have That's you heard different? That's the number that I've heard too. Yep. Okay. So around 70,000 golf carts in the villages. And growing and growing every day. Yeah. Yeah. Theft, although I don't think it's as widespread as you might imagine, it does happen from time to time. So people, number one, you have to be vigilant about where you park. You want to take your keys with you, which we have forgotten them before, and we've been lucky. But is there anything else we can do to keep our golf carts from being stolen? Um, there's a number of steps you can take. I mean, they have some devices, like a boot that you can put on it. Uh, they have a uh, arm that goes from the steering wheel down to the brake pedal. Uh, all these things require quite a bit of energy and, and time to put them on when you're getting ready to leave your golf cart. Uh, here I see somebody up here <laughs> pushing their golf cart in. Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Let's go down and help them real quick. No, let it go. Okay, oh, okay, we'll help you push. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. It looks like Jerry from Jerry and Linda. You gonna always put us on your video there? <laughs> You're already on it. <laughs> hey, there's Linda. Don't run over my camera. Hey, don't run that thing over. The thing died all over the ground. Oh god. You're steering. Just sit in there if you want. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, Our no pleasure. Problem. We had to take a little break there. We saw a golf cart in distress, so <laughs> we went, went over and helped push it a little bit, and we just came back. I'm out of breath because I really don't think Steve was pushing. <laughs> uh, You're bigger than I am. <laughs> and she said, when we got on there, she said, would you want to buy a golf cart? <laughs> <laughs> so they are a big expense. They're, they're, they're so cool. We don't want to lose them. Mm -hmm. Now, my buddy Tom, he, he came up with his own solution, as you said. One of those flopping bracket that goes over the brake after you set it. Mm -hmm. And then you get out on your knees and you lock it in with a padlock. Right. Yep. <laughs> and another uh, solution is that, what do they call those things? The boot. The boot. The boot. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. And that, you have to haul it around all the time. Mm-hmm. You have to put it on and then remember it when you leave so you don't drive over and tear up your, yeah. your golf cart. And if it's raining, you got to go do it in the rain outside. That's true. How many golf car thefts do you imagine there are in the villages? Well, I checked with the Sumter County Sheriff's Department. I contacted their public relations office and I asked them if they had any figures. They said, we don't have any yearly figures. But I said, okay, can you check maybe a two month period? Mm -hmm. So they checked the period of August and September there were 10 golf cart thefts well, in Sumter County in just two months. Okay. That doesn't sound like many unless it's your cart. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's a, 
And it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. Mm. Nationwide, there are about 30,000 golf carts stolen wow. every year. Now, what would you, give me a typical scenario of how they steal golf carts. Um, there's a couple of ways. Obviously, if somebody leaves their keys in the cart, that's one way. That's the easiest way for them, but they don't need the keys. Um, what they're doing primarily, from what I've understood from the sheriff's department, is they're going around with a trailer tucked on the back of a pickup truck. They find a golf cart in a parking lot at a rec center, whatever. So they'll just go into the golf cart, take off the brake. Two guys push it up on a trailer, takes them 30 seconds, off they go. Okay. Wow. So that little, the locking mechanism that fits over the brake pedal would actually work in that situation, but mm -hmm. it's just so inconvenient. Yes. I, I presume that the, the uh, boot would work as well in that situation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to remember to put those two things on. No, right. no. What can we do different to solve a golf cart well, theft? Well, I offer a golf cart alarm. My company, Gold Shield Cart Alarms, uh, I started it in February um, because I was looking for an alarm for my cart and nobody had one. Um, it's it's uh, an alarm that goes on the underside of the, the golf cart. It senses any vibration, so if somebody goes to get in it, tries to get the key, tries to move it, tries to take the brake off, the alarm goes off. Mm. The nice thing about it is it's set on and off with a key fob, just like your car is. Oh. So you get out of your cart, and I don't care if it's raining, if it's not, you just walk away, push the button, it goes beep beep, sets, and it's all set. Okay. If, it, if it gets tripped, uh, it runs at 115 decibels, goes for about 40 seconds, goes through four different alarm sounds, so it gets people's attention, then it shuts off. So it doesn't keep going forever, shuts off, resets itself, and stays active, so it still protects your golf cart. Well, I, now when, when we got Linda's cart, it's a 2016. Mm -hmm. I think they got smarter later on, but at that particular year and model, there were only a certain number of keys for those carts. Mm -hmm. So somebody that had, say, all six of them could you know, if you're willing to try six keys, you could probably start her cart. Sure, mm. sure. Now they've gotten a little smarter about that, haven't they? From what I understand, they're doing about 12 different per 12 year. 12 different keys now, yep. okay. 12 different key start sets per year. Okay. For each company. So if you don't mind, let's get a demonstration of your product. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have that product, but we were shown it by Mike. Yeah. Mike, our buddy. He picked it up and loves it. So we thought this could be an answer to the problem of golf cart theft. So let's take a look at it in action. Okay, absolutely, we'll do it. Well, now that is good. <laughs> that will get anybody's attention. Shoot, mm -hmm. it's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. And it's kind of easy because you, you've got to carry a keychain anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's your keychain. Your little fob is your alarm, like the car. Yep. You activate it, and then it'll give you a beep. Mm -hmm. And then after active. that, if anybody rocks that cart too bad, turns the steering wheel, steps on the brake, mm -hmm. the gas, boom. The alarm goes off. We've got an alert. Yep. How far away can that be heard? Um, well, you heard how loud it is. You can, you can hear it for probably half a mile. Oh, my God. <laughs> Easily. Oh, okay. What if somebody, you left your um, blinker on and someone can't, went to turn off your blinker? It's not that off? sensitive. No, not it's not going to do that. Okay, good. Because no. we've had to do that. We've seen people's mm -hmm. cars with yeah. their with cars Or their with light, light switch button. and they can turn the lights off. Right. Yeah, that's not going to set question. the alarm off. Want, I'd be scared then. Okay, good. And I, I know that uh, they sell alarms for your golf bags or, or things you have on the back. This wouldn't help in that a, a case if they were slow and gentle taking that. Probably not slow and gentle. Um, but I also offer a golf bag alarm. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, wow. The golf bag alarm mounts on the underside of your weather canopy. So you put your canopy down. If you have two bags on there, it covers both of them. Uh -huh. Works the exact same way. Well, you set it off, 
with a button, yeah. same thing. It's one button for both alarms if you have them both. Yeah. Anybody goes to move the canopy, the alarm goes off. Fantastic. Did you invent that? Um, kind of, yeah. That's, I kind of did. Um, I, cool. The guy that I get my alarms from, we started working on after we had the golf cart alarm. Um, I said we got a lot of thefts of golf uh, clubs in the villages. So we went back and forth. We talked about putting something in the bag, on and on like that. And I said the problem with that is a lot of times they're just taking one or two clubs. Yeah. They may not set the alarm off. You do it on the weather canopy, they move it. They can't get the bag, can't get the clubs without right. doing it. Therefore, because it's hard them. with that weather canopy down. It's hard if you're playing golf. You put it on. You got to raise it to get your club out. Sure, sure. Boom. You got. But you don't have to leave it. Up. You don't have to leave it down when you're playing golf. It would only got be it. when you park your vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> well, listen, thank you for showing us that product. It's a great thing, I believe. And I'm sure we'll be seeing more and more of them around the villages. I hope so. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jerry. Thank, thank you, you, Linda. You're Appreciate it. <laughs> a big thank you to Steve Stetzel. You know, that alarm looks like to me it will work. Mm -hmm. I think so. It made a lot of noise and different kind of sounds, too. Well, I asked him off camera, if someone tries to take the alarm off, well, that set it off and he said yes it would mm -hmm. so it's a pretty good invention yeah. and uh hopefully hopefully he'll do well with it um uh, i think the best way to eliminate golf cart theft though is to buy an old cart like we do <laughs> you know if you have the oldest cart on the on the block you're not going to get stolen it's going to be a clunker right yeah <laughs> if you liked our video today please press that like and subscribe button and share it with all your friends until next time see you when you get here <laughs>